Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. We are doing a second part for my massive Bratis haul video. I had some technical issues at the end of that one, but it was crazy long anyway, so if you missed the first one, definitely go check it out. Lots of good stuff in there. Kind of gives you a heads up of some series that are going to be happening on my channel. We are doing part two today. Before we get into it, I do just want to mention I do have the fan on next to me. It's mostly just to drown out Dave in the other room. He's been doing a ton of phone calls. He's on a new project for work, so his job is going to be happening, so I just need to... I don't know, drown him out a little bit. So I had the door closed, I had the fan on. So hopefully it doesn't disturb much. Maybe you can't even hear it, I don't know. But it's also nice just to sit here in front of the fan. It's crazy weather here, total tangent, crazy weather here. This morning we woke up, it was like 38 degrees. And then it's supposed to get up to like 90 today. So I think I need to do a capsule wardrobe video soon. So wait for that if you are interested. I do have a capsule wardrobe, have a whole bunch of videos on it. Shameless plug. So we're just getting into the part two. I'm going through this. I do know what's in here because I filmed the whole entire video last time and then half of it didn't work out. So let's just get into this. I'm just going to dive right in. The first thing I have is from Versace. This is a little like wardrobe of fragrances, which I think is only available through gratis maybe. I'm not sure if you could even purchase it, but it is a little wardrobe of Versace, which is really clever. It has their men's colognes. It also has like their women's fragrances. There are nine total. I think it's five men for women. And it's really cute. I don't know what this thing's supposed to be, but we have like this little magnet situation. Oh, I think it's a pin. Cute. Anyways, I don't know much about their fragrances. They're really popular, especially this one here is really popular in our store, which is their Bright Crystal. But I honestly don't know too much about the rest of them. Actually, I do know that there is one called Flame, which we really enjoy for Dave. So a little bit more of a spicier note, which I think would be really great for fall. Next, we have a product that I have been using, which is from One Size which is the Patrick Star brand, and these are their makeup wipes. It's the big giant ones, which are massive. Like, the sheets themselves are super large, so if you have a crazy full face of makeup, you should only need one, which is nice, but for me, on an everyday, it's too much wipe for what I need. So I think I might actually cut these in half to get more uses out of them, because I think it's just a little bit wasteful on my end to use one giant wipe for my whole face. I have been using these as an actual makeup wipe. Usually it's just for swatches or whatever with makeup wipes. This one I, I feel like is really hydrating on the skin. And so I do like them, but I don't use them all the time because I'd much rather just like wash my face. But I've been doing so many different like makeup looks for work and they're kind of crazy and like all over the place. So just to like wipe that off when I get home is nice. So I have been using these for that and it does an incredible job. Like they remove everything. Uh, next we have, uh, let's see, a couple of these guys. Let's just mention them real quick. This is from Kate Somerville. I have a couple because we did a couple contests. I was able to choose some gratis and I keep picking this one. I already have one already. I think I have two already. And this is the Dermal Quench from Kate Somerville. I don't know if I already said that, but it actually, I feel like it is doing something. It's, I treat it as like an essence step, so I put it on after I clean my face, put this on, and then moisturizer. I do feel like my moisturizer goes in deeper. I do think that it does lift a little bit. Like, I, I notice a difference when I use this. It's crazy pricey. So I don't know if I would justify the price. I'm still on my first one, so we'll see how long it lasts. If it lasts me like a year, then maybe. But if it lasts me only a couple months, then maybe not. Next, I have this product from Becca. This is their uh, Ignite. Is that what it's called? Oh, no. The Liquefied Light Highlighter, and it's in the shade Ignite, I think. Yes. So it's, I think, the lightest shade that they carry. It's one of these, like, glowy, liquidy highlighters, but it's very, like, oil slick. I don't know what that would be called, <laughs> other than oil slick. Um, duochrome, maybe? Is that what you call it? But it is... Can you see it? Whoa. I haven't used this on my face at all. I feel like it'd be really pretty on like the decollete area. That is not gonna do anything. I'd put like the smallest amount. But you can see, can you see it? Okay, it goes very natural. 
I don't know if I'll like this, but it's just not my thing. But we shall try it. Maybe I will like it. Who knows? Next, we have a product from Goop. It is the Gwyneth Paltrow line. And this is a product I've actually gotten again. So the one that I'm currently using, it is in a project pan. You can see all my thoughts tonight up in the cards. But this is the All-in-One Nourishing Face Cream. I do really like it, but I would not really recommend it if you are a big makeup wearer. I think it's best as like an overnight moisturizer. It's very thick, very heavy, very hydrating, and I have noticed a difference, but I don't think it's best for a daytime use. That's my thoughts on that so far, and I'll continue using it and see how long it lasts, because again, that is a pricey one. Next, we have another moisturizer. This is from It Cosmetics. It's their Confidence in a Cream, very popular, very just simple, hydrating, you know, nothing crazy magical in here, although it says it's transforming. I've used this a couple times, but not for extended periods of time. So maybe this will be a contender for a future moisturizer, but I, I will say the packaging is very heavy. I didn't realize how intense the packaging was. Let's see. Next we have this product from Kiehl's. This is a brand that I'm still navigating since this is a newer brand for me. My store now has it, but before it did not. So this is their Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream. It says it has micronized calendula petals and flower extract. I don't know much about this, to be honest, because I'm still learning about this brand, but Water cream, I'm guessing, is for like more combo to oily skin, but maybe it's for me too. I don't know. I don't want to open it up because I want to keep it fresh for as long as possible since I have so many things to try, but that one I am curious about. Next we have, oh, a foundation. So I am doing a foundation series. I'm in the process of it now of creating the first one. And so I am testing your foundations. And this is one that is on the line of things. It's from NARS. It's their new, what was it, Power Soft Matte? Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Very popular in our store. And I have seen that even depending on different skin types, it is able to work. Like, I have people who are dry skin who likes it. I have people who have really, really oily skin that really like it. So I'm very curious about this one. It's definitely one of the sooner ones that I want to try. And then next we have, let's see, a product that I've had before. This is the Cora Organics. This is their 2-in-1 Brightening Turmeric Mask. And I love this one. It's actually in my empties currently. So I'm excited to pull out and do one. It has turmeric, very soothing, very like exfoliating. I think there's a physical exfoliant, which is rose hips, but it also has a chemical exfoliant if you leave it on longer. I love this stuff. I keep mine in the shower and it works great for just like a quick like exfoliant, but I have used it as like a mask type treatment and I have noticed difference. I love it so much, so I'm excited to have a second one. Next we have another moisturizer. This is the Belief. It's their new one. It's the True Cream, but it's their Aqua Aloe Balm, which I'm very curious about. I have really sensitive reactive skin and aloe sounds perfect. So we shall see. I've tried the Aqua Balm before. I think I prefer the moisturizing balm just because I have more normal to dry skin. But I am curious about this one with the aloe in there. So we'll check it out. I have some makeup y things, which is cool. Let me just get a couple more of these like hair care products out of the way and then we'll move on to some makeup. So the first thing I have is the Olaplex number zero. I also got the Olaplex number three as well in my previous video. And I honestly don't know too much about it other than you can't use it very frequently. It's best if you have color treated hair, which I do not, and if you have really damaged hair, which I do not. So I don't know if I'm the right person for this product, but I do wanna try it out and see how it goes. Maybe I'll see magnificent results, or maybe it just won't work as much for me because I don't have many concerns with my hair. So I'm gonna try it just to see how it is, but I'm not expecting high things just because I don't think I'm the clientele for that. And then the next product I have is the Amica Perk Up. This is the Little Baby Dry Shampoo. I just have the full size also, which I purchased, and I do really like it, but I will say it's very gritty. So if you want a dry shampoo that's going to make your hair look clean, it will. If you want your hair to feel clean, Probably not. It makes it feel very heavy and gritty, but it does look really nice and it smells incredible. So I like it for those days that I do need to look clean, but I definitely need to wash my hair that night because it will just feel too heavy on my scalp. Moving on to a couple makeup -y items as promised. We have the Lancome Juicy Tube. It's in the shade 
Magic Spell. It is just a really fun pink. I haven't used them before, but I heard they're kind of sticky, but we will try it, right? And then next we have another lip product, which is from Dior. This is their Stellar Shine. I forget the shade of it. Uh, 785. It's a really pretty, just like rose. I don't know, there's a little bit of a shimmer to it, but nothing crazy. So I have a feeling I'll like this one a lot. And I think this one has like a really giant doe fit, right? Yeah. I love when they're like the big plump doe fits. They just like make me happy for some reason. And then next for makeup, we have a Rare Beauty product. This is the blush in the shade Grace. I think it's part of their matte formula. So they have two different lines. They have one that's matte and one's more like a creamy dewy side. And we shall try it out. I have the other one in Joy as well, which I really like that color. This one's bright. I'm going to have to be careful because it is very pigmented. So we will try it. Next we have more skincare. We have this one from Fresh. This is their somewhat new serum. It's their Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum, which let's see, it's supposed to help nourish and balance the skin. This sounds up my alley. I love rose and things, and I have liked a lot of the things from Fresh recently. I tried recently their Lotus mask, and I also have tried a few other masks from them, and I've really been liking their stuff. So I'm excited to try more from the brand. I think I just had like a bad taste when I tried like the hyped product that I just felt like was nothing special but I feel like some of their other things are making me more aware of that brand I hope this is all making sense but I am excited to try this product it totally seems up my alley where it's like an oil infused serum so I'm gonna do this is a giant bottle by the way it's three ounces of a serum which I feel like you wouldn't need a ton I don't know we shall check it out next we have uh, let's see, the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. This is another product I've gotten a few times. And I will say between this and the Cora, I do prefer, prefer this one for myself just because I do have more red reactive skin. And I feel like this one's a little bit more gentle but still effective. And this one has more of like that tingly feeling, which I'm always nervous on my skin. It does a really great job, but I just don't think I would prefer it over this one. I love this one so much. So we shall see. I will give both a try and then see which one I still prefer but so far this one is my go-to and then finally we have some little baby guys that we can end the video with just some small samples which are great for travel the first one is this little butter cleanser from drunk elfin I've heard horrible reviews on this so I haven't tried it myself it leaves like a really terrible residue which I love the pharmacy one because it doesn't so I don't know. I'm curious to try it just because I haven't heard great things about it. Um, next, we have another Drunk Elephant. Actually, a couple. So we'll just get those out of the way. We have a Virgin Marula from them. This is their oil that I have loved in the past. And the brand rep just gave me one recently because she knew I was traveling. And then I also have a small Proteiny, which is so cute and little. I had the full size actually already on my vanity. So this is a product I know I love. And then I do have just the eye cream from Goop as well. This is their all-in-one nourishing eye cream. I feel like out of the two, the moisturizer is my favorite. I feel like it really does great things for my skin. The eye cream, I don't think I've used enough to see much of a result, other than it's a nice, lightweight, nourishing eye cream. Um, but I haven't seen any magical things. But again, I feel like I'm not the person that would need it. Like, I don't have super dry under eyes. I may have a few fine lines, but nothing that a regular moisturizer can't combat. So, I don't know. And then finally, the last product I have is this from Biosense. It is their little baby of their squalene and zinc sheer mineral sunscreen. I had their original formula and it was horrible. And I recently redid the formula, I want to say like six months ago. And I'm really excited about it, so I do want to give this one a shot. And that's everything from this video. I feel like it wasn't crazy long. I'm sure it's still going to be a little bit for you guys to watch. If you watched the end, thank you. Um, but... I hope you like this video. I don't normally share haul videos of my gratis because, I don't know, it's just it's a lot and I constantly am getting stuff and I'm so grateful for it. Um, but if you are interested in anything here that you want me to review or try first, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!